Alrighty guys, this is Nox on Blitz and I'm back with another video for you today. First off, I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Yes, yesterday was Christmas, but I took the day off. Why? Well, because it's Christmas. And I figured that since the third set of auction tanks had just dropped, that none of them would sell out in a day. Turns out I was wrong. Superconk has come and gone. So if that's the tank you wanted, it's no longer in the store. And to be honest, I don't see why. Yes, it's a good tank. I get it. But why would you come to the auctions to buy a tank at pretty much full price? Now you might say, hey, Snug, 17.5K is the discount. Uh, yes and no. I mean, you can probably pick up a Superconk in the store for 20K with all the bells and whistles. And I think 17.5K was the price without anything. I could be wrong, but let me know in the comments below. Anyway, um, they did add two new tanks to the list, so we're going to take a look at the prices and give you my thoughts on what tanks I think you should pick up. Starting off with the Objects 907. Now this is a tank that got a nice little buff in 10.3, especially in that it was given tracer shells. So that is fantastic. It's at 16,750 now, but tomorrow it'll drop down to 15. Now that's not a bad price, I would say, for this tank. It is solid. You have to like medium play style, but if you do, it is a good tank to get. I'm hoping that this will be around for some time. So if you could pick it up for maybe 13K, I think that would be a very nice deal. So keep your eye on that one if you're looking for a medium to add to your tank in tier 10. Moving on to the K981. This, likewise, with the KPF70, has been around some time. I picked it up in the auction two years ago for, I think, 9K. So you're not really getting much of a discount yet. And that's a bit of a shame. Oh, just switch around. I'm um, just going to keep talking about the K981. It's a very good tank. It's one of the three top, well, top five strongest tanks in tier 9, if you ask me, along with the Object 752, the T30, maybe the E75, and this one, I would say, yeah, that 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 they're just great tanks. Um, I just think it's overpriced. It's a little bit old, so I'm hoping you can pick this up for an 8K. That would be a, a better price. But is does it perform on the battlefield? Absolutely. It is a very solid tank. You can side scrape. Uh, it can be played almost like a medium killer as well, so you know, like a heavy in play style. Yeah, those three shells hit hard. I'm telling you, it's a good tank. So if you want a tank that performs, this is a great and easy tank to play, if you ask me. So if you're not a great player, I think this would be a great tank to add to your garage. Moving back to the Super Hellcat, well, this was given out twice for free this year. Twice! And now they're adding it to the auctions? Come on. That's just... they just filler if you ask me like just seeing if they can get some other tanks to make it look i don't know more impressive and to give another tank at a cheap price but 4.5k i mean how many people pick this up for free i have no clue but a lot so i would say fair value price would be about three three k for this tank is it good yeah it's not bad um if you like the hellcat i mean very similar play style they did get a buff a while back so that really helped it in the damage department but uh, I don't know. Is it worth paying for gold? I guess if you don't have it. But I would, wouldn't pay more than 3 k for this. So fun little tank. I can't argue about that. But nothing to write home about. Moving along. We have the GSOR 1008. And this is a tank I thoroughly enjoy. Is it OP? No. Can it be OP? Sure. I've seen people do 5 k even higher. It's a very strong tank in the right positions. It's got good gun depression. It's got no armor. So if you don't know how to play a tank without armor, this is not the tank for you probably. But if you know how to play like an RHM, very similar, except it's got two shells instead of one. It does about the same amount of damage, but that means that if you miss one, you've still got another one that can still inflict damage. If you miss one in RHM, you've got that long reload, right? So um, I, I really like it. It's mobile gets up in speed 50 or so something like that it's a fun tank uh i think if you can pick this up for 6k that would be a nice little pickup honestly uh it's a fun tank 
again, as I said, it can be dominating on the battlefield, but in the wrong hands, it's just going to do pretty miserable. But yes, you can do damage, but you'll get ripped apart as well. So just play it like a tank destroyer to begin yeah, until you get comfortable with it, and then slowly maybe play it more like a medium. Yeah, it's a fun tank. I really enjoy it. But would I say it's OP? No. I For most players, I just think it's good. Chimera, I mean, it's a classic. I mean, 9K, and this is after the one-day discount, so it was, what, 9.5 yesterday? Or 10, I forget what it was. It's overpriced, but it is effective on the battlefield. I would probably say this is one of the top five tanks in Tier 8. It's very similar to the WZ122TM. That's what everybody compares it to, and I think that's fair, except this one has less armor, but it's more mobile. But it's got good gun depression, so yeah, I, this tank is easy to play. It's just not as much fun. I think if you're not a great player, I would go for this over the G-Sword just because the gun hits hard and he's just backing up and just wait and then pop on out again. Whereas the G-Sword, you're going to get probably wrecked when you sometimes go into, go into position to you know, take your shots. So at least the Chimera's got some armor, especially hold down anyway. So... Uh, it's kind of noob friendly. That's why I would say it would be a tank to pick up at what price? I mean, I guess 8K would be, uh, I think, 8.7. I mean, I'm thinking this should really be more like 7.5K, sorry, 6.5K or 6K. The reason I say that, I mean, earlier this auction, we picked up the T52, sorry, T54E2 and the T77, although nobody could get it for the price of 5K, but they were both put up at 5K. To me, they're equal to this tank, so. Yeah, I think uh, 5K would be the better price, but I don't think it'll get that low. So look, it's already down to 959 tanks. So I guess you can pick it up around 7K. You have to pay a premium for not as OP as it once was tank. You know, it's uh, very solid, very, very solid. And I think one that a noob would want to have in their garage for sure. The 047, I mean, why is this tank here? And why is it selling? Uh, I mean, it's, it, it kind of stinks. Sorry. It does. Uh, one of the weakest tanks they put in the auction. One of them's boring as well. You've played a few games, and you'll be like, no, nah, no, nah, this is not fun. <laughs> it plays like an Indian. If you've got an Indian, the tier 8 German medium tank, similar to that. It's got decent gun depression. You know, it's, it's like death by a thousand um, cuts. It, it's just not strong and pretty much everyone will kill you <laughs> yeah you'll get some bounces against lower caliber guns but fair value i guess 3k <laughs> 2.5 would be nicer <laughs> i guess if you want a tier 8 tank yeah maybe worth adding at that price but i mean i wouldn't so and the last two tanks that have been added today the amx defender and the carnivon action x amx defender if you like Light playstyle, yeah, okay, it's okay. Fair value price would be for me 5k because it's not very strong, and mm, uh, you've already got a decent tank in the tech tree. Uh, the AMX, I forget what it's called, 1390, was it? Um, I, I wouldn't say this is a tank you really need to add to your garage. Sorry for those uh lovers of the tank. The Carnivore Action X, though, is a tank I think you should add to your garage. This is a great tank. To me, it's on the same level as the Chimera, as well as the Shark, as well as the T-77. Yes, you have to shoot a lot, but if you can have a heavy bounce you or miss you, then you can go to work on them and rip them to shreds pretty much. And if you can track them, you, can, you let your teammates you know, punish tanks like this. So I punish enemy tanks that get tracked by this tank. So um, Fair Valley Pros to me, again, would be around 5K or 5 Five, five or something like that. Why? Because they're about equal in strength. Uh, will it get down that low? I think this might. It's very possible. I don't think the Chimera will get that low, unfortunately. So if you can't get the Chimera, go for this one. If you can get both of them, do so. But again, at what price? You're going to have to feel what you think is fair. For me, I think 5k would be fair because those other tanks were equally as good, if not maybe better. And yet, this one is back in at back in the store, 8K. Auctions for me are about bargains. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I'm looking for. I'll make an exception for one tank if there's something I really, really, really want. 
I might pay a premium for it, but I don't come here just to pick up a tank that is full price. I'm sorry, I don't. So those are my thoughts. Uh, they'll be adding two or three more tanks as the week goes on. Let's see. Um, it seems they're putting 14 in each lot. That's so far been the case. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight so far, plus Super Conk is nine. That means they probably will add another five over the next few days. But again, we only have one more week or one more batch of tanks after this. So I don't know um, what's going to appear. I don't think there will be any more tier 10 this week. I think you've got your tier 10s and that's it. Uh, but who knows? I mean, Wargaming could just you know, spice things up and put another tier 10 in tomorrow. Who knows? So we just have to wait and see. Anyway, that's all I got for you. I'll see you tomorrow. Snugs on Blitz, out.